Stomach cancer, also known as gastric cancer, it's one of the most insidious cancer and it's third among cancer-related deaths, while it's sixth most common cancer. It's insidious because when it's diagnosed, usually it's spread it nearby tissues and difficult to cure. Gastric cancer is cancer developed inner lining of gastric called also mucosa. Usually there is no early symptoms. If early symptoms occur, they are not specific for gastric cancer. For example, indigestion or burning sensation or heartburn. It's not uh, specific for gastric cancer because gastroesophageal reproductive disease commonly causes heartburn and every heartburn cases does not indicate gastric cancer. It's not specific to it. Also, feeling full or bloated after a small meal, it's common for indigestion or uh, functional dyspepsia and it's not specific for gastric cancer. So when person has such symptoms like indigestion, burning sensation, feeling fullness or such symptoms, person usually don't think about gastric cancer because the symptoms are more common for other more benign disease. Uh, loss of appetite also can be one of the early symptoms. Late symptoms include unintentional weight loss, stomach pain, vomiting with blood, sometimes diarrhea with blood, uh, and if metastasis already spread it, it can cause symptoms caused by metastasis such as jaundice if metastasis occur in liver. Also metastasis can occur in lungs commonly. Now let's say what is risk factors, which people are under the risk of gastric cancer. First and most important factor is family history or genetic. Second, and one of the most important, is Helicobacter pylori infection. Helicobacter pylori infection is strongly related to gastric cancer. Pernicious anemia or vitamin B12 deficiency is also a risk factor. Atropic gastritis is strong risk factor. Smoked pickled or salty foods also important, especially for Asian countries. And when we say risk factors, they usually increase risk 200% or more. And we say that it, they increase risk of 200, we can put it into perspective. For example, person has average risk of gastric cancer around 1%, slightly more. And if this person has risk factors, he or she has risk around 2%. And for example, uh, atropic gastritis can increase risk uh, into 800%. So when person has 1% risk and it's increased 800%, it means this person has risk uh, for 1% to 8%. That's the idea. So when we say that something increases risk, uh, for example, 200% or 800%, we should not understand it literally. It means it only increases this risk, already, already defined risk. For at this case, it's 1%. Uh, now let's say about prognosis. Gastric cancer prognosis hugely dependent on stage during diagnosis. For example, if person has stage 1 cancer, um, 5 year survival is 90%. So if person is diagnosed in stage 1, it has good prognosis. But if person is diagnosed stage 4, 
five years survival is only five percent so it decreased dramatically because cancer already spread it into distant organs it called metastasis and there's question what is average stage of diagnosis so most people when they understand they have gastric cancer what stage they have most commonly it's stage three our age stage of diagnosis is stage three and stage three means cancer is spread in nearby tissues and it's spread in nearby lymph nodes the, it means stage three cancer now let's say what's what type of gastric cancers exist uh, usually most cancers are adenocarcinoma 90 percent of cases also there is gastrointestinal stromal tumor five percent of cases around and adenocarcinoma also is divided into intestinal type and diffuse type um, diffuse type adenocarcinoma and its intestinal type is more common and less aggressive and diffuse type is more aggressive best method of diagnosis and gold standard of diagnosis it's endoscopy with biopsy and what is treatment treatment is surgery with chemotherapy or radiation therapy so surgery followed by chemotherapy and radiation therapy is usually gold, gold standard of treatment of course treatment is dependent on stage and patients age patients condition overall health and many factors but usually it's surgery followed by chemotherapy and radiation therapy that's all i wanted to say about gastric cancer thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now